everybody. I hope everybody's having a really good week this week. So this week, what's popping and dropping is a ship pop-up card. And this is just a mock-up. But we are going to make this today. So if you want, let's go ahead and head over to Design Space and I'm going to show you how to make this. I'll see you there. Okay guys, now that we're here in Design Space, what we can do is go to Shapes. We're going to get a square. We're going to make it 6.5 by 10.5. Then we're going to go get a score line and make it 6.5 inches long. Then we're going to grab them both, go up to Align, Align Center. Then we're going to go down to the bottom and click on Attach. Then let's get another square. We are going to make it 6 by 4.75. And we are going to need four sheets of this, which will be our pretty paper. Then we can group it all together and go ahead and move it aside. Now let's go to shapes. We're going to get an oval. We're going to make it 2.611 by 0 0.572. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.281 and the Y at 1. Then we're going to go to shapes and we're going to get a pennant. We are going to make it 1.338 by 2.361. We're going to place the X at 1.915 and then the Y at 5.103. Then we're going to go to shapes again. We're going to get a square. We are going to make it 0 0.042 by 5.278. We're going to rotate it 16.17 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1 and then the Y at 1.062. Then we can right click, duplicate. We are going to rotate it 343.23 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.61 and then the Y at 1.055. Then we can right click, duplicate again. We're going to rotate it 349.5 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.115 and then the Y at 2.338. Then let's right click, duplicate it one more time. We're going to rotate it 10.5 degrees. We're going to place the X at 3.029 and the Y at 2.322. Then what we're going to do is just go to contour and then we're going to get rid of the top point and then we're going to highlight this stick and then go to contour and then we're going to get rid of that top edge too and then the same thing on this side highlight one stick go to contour and then we're going to get rid of that top edge there Then let's highlight our pennant and we're going to go hide it real quick. And then we're going to grab this all and then we're going to go down to the bottom and click on weld. And then you should have something that looks like this. Then we're going to go over and get our pennant in our layers and unhide it. Then we can grab this piece and our pennant and then we're going to go down to the bottom and click on slice then I want you to highlight this piece we're going to go down to contour and then we're going to get rid of those two little legs that's down here <clears throat> and then once we have that we can grab it all and then click on weld and then let's highlight it and go to contour the center part here we're going to click on it and then we should have something that looks like this. Now what we're going to do is resize this piece here. We're going to want to make it 2.125 by 6.376. And I have my X and my Y on one. Then let's go to shapes and get a square. We're going to make it 0 0.658 by 0 0.027. 
we're going to place the x at 1.78 and then the y at 3.031. Then we can right click, duplicate it again, and then we're going to place the x at 1.78 and then the y at 4.319. Then we can right click, duplicate again, we're going to place the x at 1.78 and then the y at 5.433. Then once we've done that, let's highlight those three squares we just made. Then we're going to click on Weld. And then let's grab it all. And then we're going to go down to the bottom and click on Slice. And then let's get rid of those boxes. So we should have something that looks like this. We can go to Shapes and we can get a score line. We can make that score line 0 0.521. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.017 and the Y at 2.019. Then we can right click, duplicate. We're going to adjust that score line to 2.014. We're going to place the X at 1.277 and the Y at 4.594. Then we're going to duplicate that score line one more time. We're going to adjust the height to 1.206. We're going to place the X at 1.688 and then the Y at 6.937. Then we can take one of those score lines and then we can, let's just do this one at the top. We're going to right click, duplicate it. Then we're going to go up to operations and change it to a basic cut line. Then we're going to make that cut line 0 0.587. We're going to place the X at 2.483 and the Y at 3.318. Then duplicate that cut line and we're going to make it 1.071 in height. We're going to place the X at 2.317 and the Y at 4.619. Then duplicate that cut line again. We're going to adjust the cut line to 0.829 in height. We're going to place the X at 2.419 and then the Y at 5.728. Then we're going to grab it all and click on Attach. And this is the bottom of our boat. And we can go ahead and move this piece aside. Let's go to Shapes and we're going to get a half circle. We are going to make that half circle 1.597 by 4.236. We're going to rotate it 180 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1 and the Y at 1. Then we're, going to, then we're going to go to Shapes. We're going to get a square. We're going to make that square 2.944 by 2.5. We're going to place the X at 2.292 and the Y at 1.944. Then we're going to grab them both and then click on Slice. And once we do that, we're going to take this little piece here, one of these two pieces, they're both the same, and we're going to save it and then get rid of the rest. Now we can go to shapes and we're going to get a square. We're going to make it 2.983 by 2.514. We're going to place the X at 1 and then the Y on 1.031. Then this shape we just cut. We are going to adjust it to 0 0.33 by 2.602. We're going to place the X at 1.008 and the Y at 1. Then we're going to grab them both and then go down to the bottom and click on Slice. Then we should have this. So let's highlight it, go to Contour, and then we're going to get rid of that line right there. Then once we do that, Let's take this shape, we're going to adjust that piece to 0 0.417 by 2.517. This piece we're going to make sure our X and our Y is on 1. Then we're going to place the X at 3.928 and the Y at 1. Then we're going to grab it all and then go down to the bottom and click on Well. And then we should have this piece here. Now we're going to take this piece and this piece and we're going to right click duplicate and we're going to set this piece aside for later. Now this piece we're going to adjust inside to size to 3.403 by 
then we are going to place the X at one and the Y at one. We're going to go to shapes. We're going to get a square. We're going to make it 0 0.431 by 3. We're going to place the X at 2.486 and the Y at 3.513. Let's right click, duplicate, and group this piece and set it aside. Then we're going to take this piece, we're going to grab it all and click on Weld. And let's go ahead and move that over. Then this piece, we are going to adjust this top piece to 2.654 by 1.906. The X and the Y we're going to place on 1. And then our stick, we are going to adjust to 0 0.431 by 2.75. Replace the X at 2.112 and the Y at 2.878. Then we're going to grab them both and then click on Weld. Then we can right click, duplicate because we'll need two of these. Then we can grab these, group them together, and go ahead and move those aside. Okay, guys, now let's go to Shapes and let's get a square. We are going to make it 1.623 by 1.403. We're going to rotate it 24.55 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.556 and the Y at 9.528. Then we can go to shapes. We can get a square. We can make it 0 0.088 by 5.209. We're going to rotate it 359.32 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.577 and the Y at 10.686. Then we can right click, duplicate. We're going to adjust this square to 0 0.056 by 4.375. We're going to rotate it 359.37 degrees. We're going to place the X at 3.01 and the Y at 11.256. Then we can get another square. We can make it 0 0.101 by 5.539. We can rotate it 306.99 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.842 and the Y at 16.158. Then let's go to shapes and we're going to get a pennant. We're going to make it 0 0.658 by 2.259. We're going to rotate it 245.8 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.623 and the Y at 14.997. Then we're going to go to shapes. We're going to get an oval. We're going to make it 2.833 by 1.458. We're going to rotate it 37.53 degrees. We're going to place the X at 4.292 and then the Y at 17.062. Our piece is lined up. Now we're going to take our green piece and our peach stick here and we're going to highlight them both and then go down to the bottom and click on slice. Then let's highlight the peach piece, go to contour, and we're going to get rid of that triangle. Then we're going to do the same thing again. Click on the peach piece and then click on our red piece and click on slice then we're going to highlight the peach stick and we're going to get rid of that triangle then let's highlight our yellow piece and our pennant the red piece and click on slice then highlight the yellow go to contour and we're going to get rid of that triangle again And your piece should be looking something like this. And let's click on our yellow piece in our oval. Click slice down at the bottom. And then we're going to highlight our oval. Go to contour. And then we're going to get rid of this sliver right here. And now it should look like this. Now what we're going to do is go to shapes. We're going to get an oval. We're going to make it 0 0.653 by 0 0.208. We're going to rotate it 335.9 degrees. We're going to place the X at 5.293 and the Y at 10.513. Then we're going to go get another square. We're going to make it 0 0.088 
by 5.206. We're going to rotate it 306.99 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.617 and the Y at 6.256. We're going to grab our little circle oval we just did and this long piece here. And we're going to go down and click on Slice. To click on the long piece, go to Contour. And we're going to get rid of that square at the bottom. So it should nothing be past our oval. And then we're going to click on our oval and go to Contour. And then we're going to get rid of this little piece here. So we should have something that looks like this. Then we're going to grab it all and click on weld down at the bottom. Then we're going to highlight it, go to contour, hide all contours, and then we should have one solid piece that looks something like this. Now let's make sure our X is at 1.023 and our Y is at 1. Then we're going to go to shapes. We are going to get a square. We're going to make it 0 0.398 by 1.288. We're going to rotate it 25.42 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.449 and the Y at 1.63. Then what we're going to do is grab it all and click on Weld. Then we are going to go to Shapes. We're going to get a score line. We are going to make it 1.507. We're going to rotate it 204.4 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.465 and the Y at 1.633. Then we're going to get another score line. We're going to make it 1.507. Rotate it 116.43 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.043 and the Y at 2.181. Then we can duplicate that score line. We're going to place the X at 1 and the Y at 4.517. Then we can duplicate it again. We're going to rotate it 62.98 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.147 and the Y at 6.589. Then we can duplicate that score line again. We're going to rotate it 62.98 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.398 and the Y at 7. Then let's duplicate that score line again. We're going to rotate it 38.12 degrees. We're going to place the X at 3.549 and the Y at 8.32. Then let's duplicate it one more time. We're going to rotate it 10.43 degrees. We're going to place the X at 5.491 and the Y at 9.325. Then what we can do is grab all of our pieces and then we're going to go down to the bottom and click on attach. And our end result piece should be 5.228 by 9.858. Okay, so for my sales, I want my um, pole to be a wood color, but on my um, sales, I want it to be a different color. So what I'm going to do is for my back piece here that we saved and put aside. I'm going to right click duplicate and this piece you can make whatever color you want. I'm going to choose to do it white and so it will go on top of my piece here so my piece for my ship still stays a wood color. It's for the peach piece and this should be 2.654 by 1.906. Then this other piece we save, we're going to make it 0 0.319 by 1.924. We're going to place the X at 1.529 and the Y at 1. We're going to grab them both and then go down to the bottom and click on Slice. And then we should have this piece here. Then let's go to Contour and we're going to get rid of this big piece. Now you can do whatever... Um, color you want and you can do how many ever stripes you want so if you want to do three then just duplicate it and put three on here if you want to make them smaller and do more you can do that too you can line them up however you want okay 
So I'm going to just move this aside for the moment. So let's say this is how we want ours. So let's group it together. And then we're going to right click, duplicate. And because it's going to go on the back, we're going to want to flip, flip horizontal. So it's going the, wrap, the correct way. And that's for one flag. So if you want it on the other flag, you'll just need to grab both of these two, right click, duplicate, and then you'll have a set for your other small flags. Okay guys, let's go to shapes and we're going to get a circle. We're going to make it 3.184 by 2.828. We can rotate it 359.44 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.939 and the Y at 1.175. Then we're going to get a square. We're going to make it 1.411 by 1.689. We're going to place the X at 2.848 and the Y at 2.884. Then what we're going to do is go to shapes. We're going to get a circle. We're going to make that circle 0 0.595 by 0 0.595. We're going to rotate it 311.13 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1 and the Y at 1.454. Then we can right click, duplicate that circle. We're going to rotate it 311.13 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.394 and the Y at 1.023. Then we're going to go to shapes and get a square. We're going to make it 0 0.542 by 2.514. We're going to rotate it 311.13 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.272 and the Y at 1.267. Then what we can do is grab our three yellow pieces that you see here. And then we're going to go down to the bottom and click on Weld. So we should have a piece that looks like this. Then we can right click, duplicate this piece. And we are going to rotate it 101.44 degrees. We're going to place the X at 3.492 and the Y at 1. Then let's right click, duplicate it. We're going to rotate it 175.3 degrees. We're going to place the X at 3.07 and the Y at 2.871. Then let's duplicate it one more time. And we're going to rotate it 279.02 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.398 and the Y at 2.762. Then let's grab it all and then go down to the bottom and click on Weld. Then we should have this piece here. Then let's go to shapes. We're going to go ahead and get a square. We are going to make that square 0 0.083 by 1.5. We're going to place the X at 3.165 and the Y at 4.229. Then we can right click, duplicate. We're going to place the X at 3.535 and the Y at 4.21. And then we can duplicate it again. We're going to place the X at 3.888 and the Y at 4.21. Then those three sticks we just made, let's go ahead and grab them all. And we're going to go down to the bottom and click on Weld. And then we're going to grab all the pieces we have up here and click on Slice. And then we can get rid of all of those sticks. And we should have something left looking like this. Let's go to shapes. We're going to get a circle. We're going to make it 0 0.642 by 0 0.725. We're going to place the X at 2.676 and the Y at 2.476. Then we can right click, duplicate. We can place the X at 3.71 and the Y at 2.453. Then let's get a heart and let's go to shapes. It's this heart here we're going to get. We are going to make it 0 0.522 by 0 0.493. We're going to rotate it 180 degrees. 
we're going to place the x at 3.278 and the y at 3.384. Then let's click on the heart and the two circles. Go down to the bottom, click on weld. Then let's grab everything and go down to the bottom and click on slice. Then we should have something that looks like that. And this I'm going to put on my big flag. And you can adjust this to whatever size you want. But now we're going to make his hat and his patch. So let's go to shapes. We're going to get a circle. We're going to make it 3.184 by 2.828. We're going to rotate it 359.44 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1 and the Y at 1.093. Then we're going to get a half circle. We're going to make it 1.361 by 3.153. Rotate it 90 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.017 and the Y at 1. Then we're going to grab them both and then click on slice. Then we can move this out of the way. And we can keep one of these two pieces. It doesn't matter which one. Then we're going to take this piece we saved. We're going to make sure it's 3.135 by 1.261. We're going to rotate it 7.78 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1 and the Y at 1. Then we're going to go to shapes. We're going to get an oval. We're going to make it 0 0.256 by 0 0.698. We're going to rotate it 67.82 degrees. We're going to place the X at 3.982 and the Y at 2.097. Then we can right click, duplicate. We're going to rotate it 155.11. We're going to place the X at 4.015 and the Y at 2.289. Then we're going to right click, duplicate that oval. We are going to make it 0 0.164 by 0 0.65. We're going to rotate it 155.09 degrees. We're going to place the X at 4.085 and the Y at 2.353. Then we can right click, duplicate that purple oval we just made. We're going to uh, rotate it 67.81 degrees. We're going to place the X at 4.047 and the Y at 2.099. Then we're going to grab them all and then go down the bottom and click on Weld. And then we're going to change this to red. And we have his cap here. Let's go to shapes. We're going to get an oval. We're going to make it 1.028 by 0 0.972. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees. We're going to place the X at 0 0.881 and the Y at 2.796. Then let's go get another oval. We are going to make it 2.361 by 1.142. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees. We're going to place the X at 0.801 and the Y at 1.343. Then we're going to grab them both and then go down to the bottom and click on slice. Then we're just going to move all of the other stuff away and just keep one of these two right here. Then we're going to place the eye patch at 2.431 and the Y at 1.472. Then we're going to go to shapes. We're going to get a square. We're going to make it 0 0.764 by 0 0.181. We're going to place the X at 3.217 and the Y at 1.619. Then we're going to get another square. We're going to make it 2.111 by 0 0.181. We're going to rotate it to 2.67 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1 and the Y at 1. Then let's grab it all and then go down to the bottom and click on Weld. And then I'm going to change it to black. And then we can bring our hat to the front. And there we go. And we can just group everything together. And this I am putting on my big flag and you can just adjust it to however big or small you would like it on your flag. Now if you want to put one on the other side don't forget to right click, duplicate, and then you want to flip 
flip horizontal so it's going the correct way on the back. Then let's go to shapes. Let's get a circle. We're going to make it 0 0.648 by 0 0.648. And these um, I'm going to use for like windows on the side of my boat. And I'm not sure how many I'm going to use. So if you want to use them, cut as many as you would like. So these are the all the basic pieces we're going to need to create this card. Don't forget to go up and save and name your project. So if we want, we can go ahead and get all of our pieces cut out, add anything to it that you would like to add, and then I'll meet you at the craft table and we can put this together. I'll see you there. Okay guys, now that we're back at the craft table, what we can do is go ahead and work our score line on our card base and glue our pretty paper on and I am using paper from my Stampin' Up! collection paper and I will list it below in um, the description section. So why don't we go ahead and get this put on. And this week the card is going to be opening like so. Okay, so now that this is done, what we can do is get our pieces to our boat. And what I think I'm going to go ahead and do before we put our boat together is put my pieces um, for my flags on top of this. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Guys, so I got my flags done for the top of my ship. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now what we can do is work our score lines on this piece here. And all of them are going to be mountain folds. So let's go ahead and do that. So there are a total of one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight folds on this <clears throat> excuse me this piece and now what we can do once we have it folded is I'm gonna snip just the corners of these so and then we can take this tab and glue it on this side over here That's what it looks like. And so we should have something that's looking like that. Now we can get our card and open it up. And then what we can do is we are going to line these two center pieces so these in the middle of our score line like so and then once you have it lined up we're going to put a little glue down on our tab I'm going to center it back up again and make sure you have it centered in here if you want it in the middle of your card. And then I'm just going to push my tab down to my card. And then once you have this piece down and centered, we can lay it flat like so. You can put glue or tape on your tab. And then once we do that, we're just going to go ahead and fold our card to the front. And there we go.
have it. So we can go ahead and mark, <clears throat> excuse me, our score lines on this piece here. And the middle one will be a valley fold and the two on the end will be mountain folds. And it just, this tab goes to here and then this tab goes on this end like so. So we can go ahead and do that if you'd like. And then on these, you're gonna fold down however much you want to fold, but keep in mind you don't want it to stick outside your card here. And then you shimmy it. So I have made me a foot here. And then you shimmy it in the center of the boat. And then you're going to glue the foot to the bottom. And we just want to make sure nothing is going past our card here. So that would work. And I probably folded about a half an inch is what I did for my middle flag. And when I'm placing this middle one down, I am trying to make sure that the fold is somewhat in the score line of the card. And then we're just gonna do the same thing for our other two flags too. Just make sure they're not coming outside of your card. That's what I have so far. And what I think I'm going to have to do, because this um, vinyl has made this heavier, I think I'm going to have to add another um, support system to this one right here. Because it is just flapping a little too much. So I'm going to put this last one on. Okay guys, so this is my finished product. I did an anchor and the boat steering wheel in the front and it says let your dream set sail. And then we open it up and we have our cute little ship here. And then of course on the back, there's a place where we can write a message. I do want to say that using vinyl, it kind of weighed my flags down. So for the um, leg that it's on, I did double up and go back and put an extra leg on this. So it would be more sturdy and now it's not flapping so much.
Do you guys know why the sailboat wanted to dance with the motorboat? Because he liked her yacht. Guys, I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by and crafting with me. Don't forget to stop by next week to see what's popping and dropping. Bye!